No one can ignore the devastating consequences of climate change that we see today and will continue to see in the future. Climate-related disasters are predicted to push an additional 100 million people into extreme poverty by 2030. This does not include the staggering figures of women and girls who already made up over half of the world's internally displaced people by the end of 2020. There can be no doubt this is a global crisis that will magnify the gendered impacts and have major setback for development. Women, including migrants and displaced, will increasingly face the challenges of having to adapt their livelihood and coping mechanisms in the context of climate change and natural resource depletion. This means more women and girls will be forced to move, may be separated from families and their protective networks, or may have to stay behind as others leave, remaining in vulnerable conditions and at the risk of violence, exploitation, and abuse. On this International Women's Day, we salute the determination, resilience, and leadership of those women affected by the harmful consequences of climate change. We see women as drivers of positive change in their families and communities around the globe, leading their loved ones and their communities through the hardship of climate change while shaping resilience and adaptation. IOM supports thousands of women and girls to help adapt to this new reality. In 2020 alone, over 3 million women and girls benefited from IOM interventions to reduce risk and build the resiliency of community in 45 countries affected by the impact of climate change and environmental degradation. Around the globe, across the extended field presence of IOM, we have experienced this determination, leadership, and participation of women that are heroes of countless stories. Activities are ranging from managing their household resources and risks from environmental hazards by developing household level climate change adaptation plans to taking on leadership roles as peacemakers in managing water resources. These women remind us that without strong and collective climate action, our common vision for a sustainable future for the new generation will remain in vain. We need female leadership in disaster risk reduction because when women and girls reach safety and protection, everyone will.